Hello and welcome. This is a short video without being an actual short. If you have an interest in nuclear physics as a hobby, that won't land you in jail on the news or both. The home science enthusiast has limited option for experiment. Besides the expensive fusor, waving a Gaga counter around can rapidly become boring. Here's an experiment you can do easily with polonium and some aluminum foil. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and tell you to not do it at home because I am doing it at home. Just be careful. Of course, you'll need a liquid ventilation unit to detect anything, so I guess never mind. The end. Damn it! So I cut two pieces of aluminum of equal size. This one I placed in the scintillation vial with the scintillation cocktail and measured the background for 10 minutes, 10 times. The other one, I sandwiched between the two strips of polonium 210, 500 micro curie each for a total activity of one milli curie. This is to expose the aluminum to alpha particles, which on extremely rare occasion trigger a nuclear reaction and release a neutron. This is the nuclear reaction Irene Joliot Curie discovered in January 1934. The leftover from this intense bombardment is phosphorus 30, with a half-life of about 2 minutes. The blank measurement yields a probability of detection somewhere around 57 to 58 counts, with a statistical maximum somewhere around 60. The exposed aluminum strip yields a value of 63 which is above the statistical noise and must be considered as a legitimate detection. For reference, the liquid ventilation works with alpha radiation too. Here is a mirror CM241 from a smoke detector source. Radium has two main peaks from uh, radium 226 and radium 228. Here is natural radium better decay spectrum, which I talked about in previous videos. Depleted uranium metal I'm not sure if uh, the main peak is uh, uranium-234 here and not 238. So this should be investigated further. Now this is thorium with a bit of radium-228 from the natural decay chain here. Anyway, that about does it for this one. Thanks for watching.